Всем привет, народ. Продолжаем нашу серию интервью с лан-финалов пятого сезона Star Series от Starladder TV. Ну и со мной стоит, наверное, один из самых легендарных игроков, присутствующих здесь. Товарищ, который играет уже, я даже не знаю, сколько лет, но точно раньше, чем в 2008 году он начал играть. Игрок команды No Tide Hunter Лода. Лода, я начну с вопроса, который был... Discussed in all Russian forum last days. Why La Oda, not Loda? <laughs> uh, that's actually. I'm just switching that sometimes. It's more of a joke because when I was playing in uh, China, the Chinese called me Lauda, which means like in slang, kind of big boss or something. Uh -huh. So then sometimes I switch that just for fun. Okay, so that, that doesn't matter uh, what cap are you using because yesterday you was in cap LA, so I read LA plus Loda, maybe Loda, or you want to live in LA? <laughs> Uh, no, there's nothing like that. It's just, I just hate having the same nickname over and over again. So sometimes I like to make it a little bit special with adding an A. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll jump to the tournament. Yesterday you had a fir the first match. It was uh, versus Empire. Empire are already out from the tournament. Uh, the first game was really hard for you. The second one was easy. Uh, what you were expecting from Empire and uh, how, how, how was the, those games from your point of view? Uh, well, I mean, the last time we played against Empire, they beat us. Uh, they used this uh, tree end strategy, and uh, we were a bit not really sure how we were going to ban to make the game uh, go our way and make the picks go our way. After the first ban and pick phase, when they had Nike's Mag, Syllabar, those three heroes kind of felt made us feel like we were outpicked already. Yeah. And especially since they're dire, they can abuse the fact that they have Roche which they can take very easily. Then they add the tree end so they can uh, protect towers and so on. So I felt we were playing kind of the losing game even from the start. But I mean, uh, we, we, we just decided not to take fights where we could actually throw away the game. Because in that game, if we lost any fights 5-0, we would lose, we would be out. And there were so many situations. I would say a lot of us played extremely well. Uh, there was so many situations where if only one more player would have died, we would have lost the game. But in every of those situations, we were able to... Usually it was about uh, Bulldog and S4 being... They were probably the fattest in that game. I had a really hard time. I felt that it wasn't a good game to play Gyro. And I, I tried to uh, experiment a bit with the item build to, to be able to do as much as I could. But, but that first game was, was very difficult for us. And, and we felt, as I said, outpicked. But We just kept it together and uh, we know that we, we are really good at fighting. We can bait them to do things they don't want to do. So when they try to do these uh, all-in pushes in mid, because they're, they're getting very uh, frustrated when we're split pushing with Furion and they don't, they don't want to get split pushed because a lot of teams get split pushed against us and then they get tricked into pushing as five. So even if they have this huge lead, they take one Rax, but they lose five heroes. And that's just how we play the game. We, we knew that we had to play better than them, we had to take better fights than them and we couldn't take fights we were not really confident in winning because we would lo lose the game. So first game was very, very difficult. Uh, that's the only thing I can say. We were so happy when we won it. In the second game, I felt that they make the game very hard on themselves by how they pick. Uh, I don't think they were ready for the AM pick, but at the same time, we, we kind of knew exactly what they would do. Uh, I mean, they will always pick up. Uh, Queen of Pain for Vigos because it's one of the heroes he excels at. But then we have the NA who uh, pretty much wins mid against uh, Coop. But I mean, Vigos was able to uh, first blood. I think it was first blood. He was able to kill uh, S4 in mid, but at the same time he was roaming a lot. Yep. So he wasn't really winning mid lane. He was uh, spending time getting the runes and he got really good runes. He got Invis, Invis, Haste. Twice, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but But in that game we were quite confident because no matter how the laning phase went, we would always be able to take a lot of risks and like push the game to its limit because they don't have any disables. And then when we follow up, follow up with an anti-mage pick, uh, we know that we can just play it, play it safe. And, and in the last game, I just felt that they were about a bit outpicked. And uh, that's how it is on LAN. When you lose a stressful game like that, when you th kind of throw away a win, uh, you will get tricked into picking stuff Maybe it looks good when you're picking it. And Empire, yeah, exactly. And Empire likes playing without stuns. Yeah. And that's something that surprises me because this game against Fnatic as well, they have a lineup where 
Fnatic can pretty much TP out of every yep. single gang. And Zero yeah, stars. yeah. And, and I mean, at least they're playing their own game. And, and I respect that. I just feel that sometimes they need to have more disables. Uh, this game, they only had the rockets from Gyrocopter, and it's very <laughs> slow. So I, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, two more little questions about yesterday's game. First of all, what do you think uh, with addition of Vegas in dropping Fnatic to Navi, Empire become more strong or less strong team? I think that they became a weaker team. Uh, but it's hard to say why. I just felt that Fnatic was a very he fit very well in Empire, and I was surprised that he would take the chance to go to Navi. But I mean, I understand if Navi invites you, everybody goes to Navi. <laughs> almost everybody would go to Navi, and uh, I feel that Empire got the worst deal out of that. But at the same time, I feel Funik made the wrong decision to go to Navi. He could have stayed with this team and built a team that would actually work out, and they could go, they could become even as strong as Navi, or even stronger than Navi would be this year. And I mean, but it's hard to say. Uh, Scandal plays a good off lane. Vigos is quite good in mid lane. I just feel that Vigos has to make his uh, hero pool a bit wider. And he, he, he yeah, exactly. And I, I feel that he sometimes, they sometimes overrate what you can do with a single hero. I mean, sure, a hero can, even if he excels with Queen of Pain, if you always pick Queen of Pain, <laughs> Your opponents will know. I mean, it's almost like when we played Sven, you know, stacking ancients. I mean, everybody knew that. Yes, <laughs> yeah, but at, at, after some time, they started playing well against it, and we we lost. So and you had to choose new favorites here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The last question about yesterday. Um, a lot of uh, also Twitter or said about that. Uh, the local crowd supported you, not Empire. Yesterday, you were shocked or not? <laughs> so, I, I, I was shocked personally. Well, yeah, I was shocked, but I mean, I'm just happy, uh, and I just <laughs> we just appreciate it so much. And it's really nice to see that we we are getting a a lot of fans and uh, appreciation from the community right now. It's not only from Sweden. Uh, it's I think it's a lot because people see that now we are a team of friends. It's a team that is easy to like because we all have fun when we play and we, we, are, we are not afraid to experiment with picks. And it's not, I wouldn't call it just experimenting because we're quite confident in doing this. But it's just because of the combination of players and the, the faith in each other that we can make these decisions. A bit like Navi was uh, yeah. at... Yeah, exactly. That's, that's how we want to play the game. And we want to make the pool really, really wide. And I, people appreciate that, I think. Yeah. And you have the best logo in Dota, so that's, <laughs> that's also. Uh, okay, uh, in like two hours, you will play uh, the winning bracket finals where Sweet or Pro. Everybody, uh, everybody think that this will be the hardest opponent for you. Uh, what do you think about Virtus Pro uh, performance yesterday? And uh, what do you think about tonight's match? Uh, yeah, but it's completely right. I mean, Virtus Pro is the strongest opponent in this tournament. They are extremely strong now. Uh, and since they switched their lineup, they're kind of still in the honeymoon period, if you understand what I mean. They still have this team, they've been winning games, this team spirit is very high, yeah, you know. Yeah, exactly, and those, those teams are some of the scariest teams to play, because they can go so far just by being uh, in such a good position as a team. They're so happy, they, they believe in each other, and they've been winning a lot lately. So, I, I feel that the, the team that wins today will win the whole tournament. Mm, interesting thoughts. Uh, uh, if you win today, Fnatic uh, will play tomorrow versus Virtus Pro, or Fnatic will play versus you. Do you think Fnatic have a chance, a single chance to win over you or versus Virtus Pro, or they finish third? It's very hard to say. Fnatic is a team that always surprises me in some ways. I mean, they they make picks that are a bit out of out of the normal, and I mean, they make lanes that we wouldn't really do. Uh, but I mean, we feel very confident going up against Fnatic if we would get kicked out or even if we would face them in the Grand Finals. But, uh, they, they, of course, they still have a chance. They, they have a good chance, but I don't think they will go the whole way and uh, win the Grand Finals no matter what. Even if they reach the Grand Finals, I don't think they will win it. Okay, uh, we'll jump from Starwater to next tournament. So in two weeks, uh, you will be playing in Poland in Katowice for EMS Finals. 
and between those two lands, uh, you will have uh, G1 Champions League qualification. Uh, my question is, uh, the games will be played at 8 and 11 CAT. <laughs> how was, how, what was your reaction to, to this news? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, as a gamer, it's... <laughs> It's not a good time to... Yeah, I know. I mean, I can't remember the last time I woke up that early. <laughs> nah. I mean, I understand. They, they want to make it professional. I guess they want to make it uh, viewable for the Asian scene as well, uh, for the Asian market, for the Chinese market, so on. Uh, but no, I don't really think it's a good decision because we have... I mean, we have other games as well. So often we will have a game that ends at 12, and then you have to cool off, you have to go to sleep, and then you will have to wake up at, what, 7, 7.30, and then get ready to play a game, and you're still going to be tired. I think it's... I don't think it's a good choice, but we, we will do our best, and I guess I have to fix my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, basically, maybe one of the last questions. Uh, your guys uh, came here to London, you're going to Poland, uh, you're feeling basically really good. You told that you're a team of friends, do you guys have a sponsor or something like that? I had a talk with my sponsor uh, before we went here, and uh, it's it's now it's gonna get released very very soon. I I heard something like one week perhaps, and then it will be official. Okay, so in Poland you already will have a, I don't know a logo, new logo or what? You lose all your fans in Russia. <laughs> new logo. Uh, yeah, perhaps we we've, we've been talking about that. If we will get uh, if we will get our stuff in time, of course we will get the logo. But we'll see. I'm I'm not sure if they've already made the shirts for the team or not. So 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 we'll just have to see. But people will know our new name at least, and hopefully the fans will stay with us either way. I hope so. Okay, thank you for the interview. Good luck uh, in the game with Spirit to Sport. Was Lada from Team Nowsite Hunter.